Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge cumulative thrift outlet haul. I once again went back to my two favorite outlet stores here in Houston, both the Goodwill Outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins, where I pay $2.19 per pound here in Houston. I also went to the Family Thrift Center Outlet. I go pretty much every Thursday and I pay $2 per item at that store. So we have four pairs of shoes. The rest is clothing. I think all in all, I have about 60 items here and I probably paid right about 120 ish for everything. I would guess just off the top of my head. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. We will start off with the absolute best find. These are a pair of genuine or uh, they're authentic Chanel lambskin leather espadrille flats platform flats and i mean these things are gorgeous i found these at the family thrift center outlet i just saw them on the shoe rack so basically that store opens at 7 a.m people line up outside pretty much at every location people line up outside and right at 7 a.m. they open the doors everyone flies through the store and everyone has a different kind of section that they like to run to uh, there's the vintage guys that run to the men's section some people run to the purses the dresses I I kind of switch it up but I do like to skim through the shoes and I just kind of threw these in my cart thinking most likely a knockoff but you know I'm not going to waste time looking too thoroughly at them. Got them home and was like, okay, these are really nice quality. I got them authenticated by realauthentication.com. It's a website. I log on and I paid $30 to get stuff authenticated, but they're really fast and it goes through like two steps to authenticate them so you know for sure that they're good to go and they came back authentic so that was a very exciting day i did pay two dollars for these they do have some issues with the insole it's like just kind of coming up and there is some wear to the interior but the overall leather exterior and sole they are everything is in great condition besides the insole so i did note that and i still listed them around 400 ish they do retail at 800 i'll expect them to sell for probably around 300 ish with the flaws they're size 41 that's one reason that i think that they will still sell pretty high because they are a larger size which i think is probably a little bit harder to find okay moving on to another exciting shoe find not quite as exciting but i do get uh pretty happy when i find steve madden tall boots because they're pretty much guaranteed 40 to 50 dollars uh resell these probably retail for about 150 to 200 really cool they have these buckles going all the way down in like this distressed genuine gray leather these are a size seven they're called the bryant boots they have a small heel and back third pair of shoes i'd never found this brand before Sigur sigerson morrison i could totally be butchering butchering that but that is the label there and these are very expensive retail these are probably around three to four hundred dollars they're this western uh heeled booty having a hard time holding shoes up today a genuine gray leather upper with like an almond toe and these are in okay condition they do have like one spot to the interior which obviously i noted that somewhere to the soles but overall they're still in decent condition i think these are a size nine yeah size nine so i got those i would not have paid like seven dollars for those at goodwill just because of the condition but for two dollars i'll still pick them up even if they sell 30 or 35 ish i'm happy with that that's still a pretty good return 
Last pair of shoes, we have these Betsy Johnson heels with the little bow. Super cute. This was kind of like a pinup look in my opinion, which pinup uh, Betsy Johnson stuff sells pretty well. The heels were in good shape. Size six and a half. I'll probably only expect about 25-ish from those. Okay, now we will move on into clothing. These first two clothing pieces, I these uh, came from a consignment store, so just kind of separate these a little bit because I did pay, uh, I did not pay $2 for each of these. This is a Zara jacket. I thought I would just include them because I really like the pieces and I only found two items at the store so obviously I don't have enough for a haul from the consignment store. This is Zara and it's like a pieced together mixed denim jacket. Really cool. It has all over distressing, very worn in. It's like a trucker style denim jacket, size small. I paid $15 for this. I'll expect it to sell for around $45 to $50 ish just because it is more of a substantial piece. And the second and last item I found at the consignment store is flax. This was Crossroads where I sometimes when I am over in the village, the Rice Village here in Houston, I will just kind of pop into Crossroads and see if I can find a couple things to just cover my lunch cost. Um, and I just really like to see, you know, what kind of more designer stuff they have featured. That's a really good way to kind of see, you know, what people are searching for because consignment stores like Crossroads, they have to have a pretty quick turnover to make a profit. And so you want to see what people are selling, what they're willing to buy, what they have featured in their store. This is a flax blazer kind of shirt jacket, jacket style piece. And they had this priced at $22, but they did have it half off. So I only paid about $11 for it, which was great. I happily paid that price. This is 100% linen, super lagging look. And with the size, I think it's a size large. Yeah, this should sell, I would guess, around $50 to $60. So yeah, happy with that little haul. Okay, jumping back, everything from here on out is again from the Alice stores. Uh, so $2 per item. That was kind of confusing. So I didn't include these two items in my um, cost of goods for everything. So I said I paid about 120, so add uh, 15 plus 11, so 26. So I paid about 150 if you include the two consignment items. Okay, so, sorry guys, I know that was a little confusing. This one's free people, it's like a pastel pink lacy bralette, size small. And these I got to bundle they are two Victoria's Secret push-up bras. I think they're the Dream Angels. Yeah, Dream Angels, both in a size 32D. I thought they were nice kind of everyday colors. This one's like a neutral, and then this one is just a black. So the fact that I found two, they were in good shape, same size. I did go ahead and grab those. Same kind of thing for these. These are just from Target. It's the all in motion line, but they're size extra, extra large. They were in excellent shape, strappy back. This is the little Target athletic logo. And then I also found one in black, exact same style, same size. So I listed those for like 18 ish together. And you know, I probably paid about a dollar for both. So even if they sell for 15, Let's see, nice little quick profit. And then this last bra, is this inside out? Yes. This last bra, I was pretty excited to find. Apparently this is a, an Intimates brand that people search for. It's popular, it's expensive. This bra retailed for $65. It's called Negative Underwear, that's the brand. It's like this semi-sheer, bra that has no wire, very comfortable, and I'm expecting that to sell for around $30. Okay, getting into clothing now. First off, I love this cardigan. I've actually sold this exact same cardigan 
not too long ago, maybe about four months ago, and it was the brand Kenar, K-E-N-A-R, same fabric makeup, which is kind of a specific makeup, 67% acrylic, 17% wool, 8% polyester, 7% alpaca. It was that exact same fabric, um, same style and everything. Uh, so I don't know if Cynthia Rowley and Kenar are connected, but anyways, I found this again, super excited because this is an alpaca blend sweater and I just think it's so cool. This is the back. It has this like swirl design in earth tones and it's a size 1X, which is great. I love, love, love finding fun boho pieces and plus size and also cardigans are one of my like fastest selling categories. Next up we have Bella Doll, which I don't pick up all Bella Doll, but this was 100% linen and we are heading into springtime. It's, uh, you know, quickly approaching and so I want to start picking up linen and, you know, stocking up for the upcoming springtime. This was another super exciting find parachute home if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you may remember i stumbled into like 150 items from this brand parachute home at the bins last year and i paid about 300 for all of it and collectively it sold for around four thousand dollars so that was a very very exciting couple days finding all of that this robe should sell for around 60 to $70. It's white and it's in their cloud cotton material. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Anything, the robes, the loungewear sets sell really well. I sold a couple of those for like $75 each. And any kind of bedding, linen comforters or linen duvet covers are their most popular items, sheet sets, everything sells very well. Okay, next up, Neiman Marcus 100% Cashmere 3X cardigan. This was like my ideal kind of find. Luxurious fabric, great size, neutral color, excellent condition. So, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that I get to the outlet at 7 a.m. to find. That kind of stuff makes it worth it. Same kind of thing here, Wilt. This is an excellent brand. It has kind of like a lag and look style to it, shapeless pieces that you know you can layer and are long line. Uh, just really kind of like artsy, lightweight fabrics. And this is no exception. It's a midi dress, high-low hemline in slub cotton. And this brand is super expensive. This dress probably retailed for $150. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology, not always. They do have a website of their own. I highly suggest you guys go peruse the website. You can see a lot of their popular styles. I think some people specifically search out that brand and really like it. Next up, we have Sailor, another great find. This was a bins find. It was at the very bottom of a bin. The bin, I looked through every single item. I found nothing, and then I got to the very bottom and found this. So uh, this was my saving grace there, and it is this rainbow-colored jumpsuit. So cute. It has a high waist and ties at the shoulders smocked in back. This was made in India of 100% cotton, size extra small. This retailed, I forget right now, I want to say about $150. It should sell for about $60 to $75. People, uh, again, really like this brand, Sailor. Anthropology, size small. Super cute little shirt dress in a floral print. I love the color. This has pockets and it's just like that really nice drapey chambray material. It's like a lyocell. 100% viscose. So 
This was a style based pickup. I don't believe it had any tags to it. Yeah, no tags. But I found it in the bins and let me scoot back a little bit. It reminded me, actually it reminded me of this uh, brushed cotton material from Parachute. So if you can see the texture on this robe, we have the texture on this top I picked up. So it's like that really nice kind of gauzy brushed cotton material. It's a v-neck. Again, we have the neutral color. It has pockets and I could tell that it was a plus size piece. I think this measured at around a four to five X. It, it is already listed. So I definitely wanted to get that. I think that would be a really nice kind of closet staple for someone. We have my absolute favorite brand to sell here, Soft Surroundings. And this is like a quintessential type piece from Soft Surroundings that I'm looking for. It's a size extra large. It's this really fun boho kind of watercolor print to it. Extremely soft. It's that uh, soft, stretchy jersey knit material, which I do add that to the title. So I would title this like soft surroundings, watercolor, boho, watercolor print, soft, stretchy, jersey knit, long line top. And I put all of those keywords in the title so that people can see, you know, it has a fun boho print to it. It's soft, it's stretchy, it's long line, it's going to be comfortable. And I think that does kind of help it sell really well because it just seems like a really wearable piece when you do that. Next up, always an exciting grab here. We have Lululemon. I found this in a bin. I think people had been passing it up because they thought that it was like super faded and worn. If you can kind of see, it has this kind of like sun washed wash to it. But I, and I thought the same thing initially, but then I saw the little logo here. It's like this matte black Lululemon logo, which looked newer to me and turns out it is uh, a little bit newer. It's not, you know, it wasn't purchased like 10 years ago and worn every single day or anything. It had this manufactured uh, sun washed look to it. So I was happy that I did a little bit of research. You always kind of want to look uh, closely at things. So yeah, very soft hoodie. It has two pockets in front, zips down. This is called the loop back hoodie. I'm not really sure why. I guess because the hood has elastic in it. Okay, this I have been searching for this brand. This is on my uh, bucket list, thrifting bucket list. I need to write the title of it on the screen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a French brand, but it is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's very expensive. I think this is the cutest sweater ever. It has this fun sleeve. It's a semi-cropped fit. The inner tags were taken out, but I did find a sweater exactly like this on Poshmark and they listed it. They listed the fabric tag and it's like 70% mohair. The size is TU, which I forget now, but the abbreviation for that is like two French words and it basically just means one size. Okay, moving on. This was another style based pickup, Coldwater Creek, and it's a size extra large. If this were extra small, small, medium, I would have left it. But the fact that it's extra large, it's a new neutral color. Again, we have that cardigan fit. It's like a faux suede front with a fringe trim, waterfall draped front. So, you know, I thought this would be, again, just kind of a nice layering piece that adds a little bit, makes a little bit of a statement, I would say. So this one is a slow day at the bins and I was just kind of reaching for anything that I thought might sell. This is just Old Navy, but it's a size 4X and it's an animal print blouse with a ruffle sleeve. It's a V-neck and I looked at the interior tag. I think this was sold in 
like 2020 so you know recent style more exciting stuff here we have vintage betsy johnson this is a tag from late 90s early 2000s if you guys are ever wondering if you want to date a tag like i needed to date this betsy johnson tag so i just went to the vintage fashion guild.com and you type in betsy johnson it will show you all of the tags through the years and you can just match up your tag so that was how i dated this and it's this velvet maxi length dress gorgeous it's a purple velvet in excellent condition size 10 it has a scoop back with this bow so cool it's fully lined i think this will honestly sell i would say over a hundred dollars i probably won't take less than 125 for it just because vintage betsy johnson stuff can sell very very high people actively search it out we have altered state size large the tag is a bit faded there i just thought these were cute kind of pull on style plaid trousers with an elastic waist just an easy kind of throw on and go pant they're cute but also um, a little bit more formal okay this is alc which is a pretty good brand i don't know if i would pay up for this at the regular goodwill like i probably wouldn't pay like 10 or 20 dollars for it but at the bins I will 100% grab it. I say that because this is from 2011 um, and you know white maxi dresses I don't think are the most sought after type of clothing um, but you know with only a couple dollars invested in this I have nothing to lose and I think it should sell uh, maybe 40 possibly 50 ish. ALC is uh, a pretty expensive brand that was probably about two to three hundred dollars retail everlane i love finding everlane everything sells super quickly from this brand and it also brings a ton of traffic to my closet this is a size four and it's a hundred percent silk olive green button down shirt this is a bit oversized if you can see it has a chest pocket long line joie size extra small this is yet another brand that i am extremely picky with but i did get this top because this is the newer tag from them and i just thought this was so cute it has this like mixed metal metallic striped print in a lightweight cotton fabric it sits a little bit off shoulder and again i am trying to kind of gear up for springtime okay another really cool find here this is moth by anthropology and this is one of anthropology's more sought after vintage items or maybe not vintage but older pieces and so this is a duster floor length cardigan sweater coat this specific style of piece has sold for like around 150 dollars in the past on poshmark it's so pretty it has this like cable knit design in back and in front you have four snap closures at the waist so it is very flattering it's 50 percent wool I was gonna say something about this i forget what the style name is i'll put the style name on the screen oh there's only one currently listed right now on poshmark which is what you like to see there's like 15 sold and one available so that always you know makes things um better when you don't have you know a million available listings that you're just adding your listing into okay we have bowden this is a newer tag from bowden in a size 16 18 regular how cute is this dress it's long mustard yellow you guys know this is like my favorite color ever 
And then we have these adorable little multicolored pom-poms around the edges. It's a slub cotton. Next up, another kind of style-based pickup that I just threw into my cart at the bins. This is Beach Lunch Lounge. It's an off-shoulder gingham print blouse with a ruffle trim, a little bit of a high-low, and this is a size medium. I will get this brand sometimes if the piece has a lot going for it, like, you know, gingham is popular, the ruffle trim is cute. It's kind of like preppy, but also boho, but I definitely do leave some stuff behind from that brand. It's also definitely just like a Goodwill outlet bins kind of brand for me. Ralph Lauren, jeans company this is very cute it's a light wash pearl snap blouse with floral embroidery and it also has the embroidery at the little wrist cuffs there's the pearl snaps and you know with the rodeo and stuff i thought this would be good to get listed size medium I've never actually sold this brand before, Ivy Park, which was created by Beyonce. It's a bodysuit. Bodysuits uh, always kind of fly out of my closet, and with the bold graphic logo, I thought that would do pretty well. Excited to try out a new brand. Okay, this I got just because I thought it was so pretty. It is an older vintage piece, so it's a two-piece suit skirt suit set and the brand is Evan Pacone this is the skirt it's all 100% wool plaid print zips down and back it's fully lined very well made this is the tag here so I could not leave this I just I mean it's so so well made in such great condition the skirt has pockets and I mean you could just wear the blazer really mix and match really pretty i don't think it had any size tags that i could find it just says 100 percent pure new wool okay lastly from our first bag we have one more ikea bag this men's 100 percent cashmere giorgio armani this is a car sweater v-neck sweater gorgeous piece here really no pilling or signs of wear we have buttons at the wrists so i need to do some research i'm not sure i'm thinking this will sell around 75 dollars made in italy size 42 so well made okay next we have a bundle of four smart wool tops this is definitely a brand you guys should have on your radar um, people really, really like it. They'll wear it as a base layer. It's generally 100% merino wool, very soft and high quality stuff. It's very practical, especially if you live in a colder climate. This is the little logo of their smart wool. And I stumbled into four pieces from this brand. That pink one, this is more of like a purple magenta. We have black and blue. And they do have some, the black is the worst. It just has some like pilling and lint to it. The other three are uh, pretty good. There's no holes though. That's the big, the big thing uh, because you know, merino wool, cashmere, it is susceptible to getting small holes and they didn't have any. So I definitely wanted to get them. They'll probably sell, even with the lint and stuff, for around $100. Uh, they probably retailed each for around $100, so that would be a great deal um, for someone. Next up, Lululemon size 12. These are a crushed velvet jogger pant. They're called the Ready to Crush Jogger. Really cool, I was so happy. Uh, to see them again people were passing these up in the bin I don't think they realized what brand they were but something about the fabric just felt very high quality to me and anytime 
my spidey senses go off with anything. I always investigate further and luckily they turn out to be Lululemon. So that just goes to show you, you always want to stay alert and prepared at the bins anywhere really. Okay, next, another super substantial piece here. This is a Madewell jumpsuit. It's called the Claremont Overlay Jumpsuit. Really cool. Love the teal color. It's like this kind of crepe fabric. The pants are high-waisted and then the blouse just kind of drapes over. It is fully lined. Zips down and back. And then I'm not sure how the back works. There is like kind of a cutout here with elastic at the pants, but it looks like the top covers that. So then you have just like a cropped pant on the bottom and this is a size small. I'm definitely a little bit pickier with Madewell now, but more substantial pieces like that, I'm still thrilled to find. Maurice's, this is definitely not a brand that I seek out by any means. I don't think I've actually ever sold it before, but this was from the bins. I probably paid about $1.50 for it. And the style plus the material uh, were why I got it. Paper bag waist is very popular. This is also a linen blend. Yeah, 55% linen and it was new attacks. So for all those reasons, um, I did definitely get it. The attached waist belt was still with it. Fun find here. We have a vintage velvet burnt orange dress. The brand is California Gold Rush. Really cool little mini dress. How cute would this be with like white boots, booties? Um, I don't know why it's kind of random, but that's the first thing that pops into my head when I think about styling this. And yeah, I just think it's really cool. Anything with like a texture to it uh, sells well. Also, this color I think is pretty trendy and, you know, it's just a nice little mini dress for someone. Okay, next up we have Torrid New Attacks Jegging, black jegging. So just a great wardrobe staple. They're in a size 28, which is awesome. I love having every size in my closet. So there is the tag. Very stretchy, very comfortable, and New Attacks. It's probably retail for about $60. Yet another just kind of closet basic here. This is Banana Republic, boyfriend cardigan, long line, and I got it because it's 100% merino wool, size medium. So people do look for nicer fabrics. That's a great bundle piece. Same kind of thing for this, good bundle piece, American Eagle. This is the newer tag from American Eagle which I do usually get pretty much always, unless it's just like a little like tank top or something not substantial really at all, size small. I like the colors to this and I thought the cut was pretty trendy with the crop and elastic. More jeggings. Are these, a, yeah, these are jeggings. I normally only pick up the newer tag from American Eagle in jeans which is, this is the older tag, but these looked brand new. And I think this is pretty popular, this whole jegging with the extreme distressing and whiskering to them. So I did go ahead and grab these at the bins. They'll probably sell for around 25-ish. More just kind of bread and butter, Banana Republic, but new at tags, size small. This is a velvet, green turtleneck it's like a top sweater it's a hybrid between a top and a sweater high low hemline really pretty i love the dark forest green kind of jewel tone color okay guys this for sure a bolo you really want to remember this tag and brand frank and eileen size small this 
button-down shirt retail for about $250 and the resale is pretty good. This should sell, I want to say 50 to 60-ish. It's 100% linen. It is the Barry style, B-A-R-R-Y style of button-down. Frank and Eileen has specific styles within their brand. Barry is one of the most popular, so that's great. And it has this little subtle floral print to it. So yeah, very happy about that. I just kind of found that when I was on the way out the door. So I was happy that I just kind of took a second look around. Another brand that I love finding, Toad & Co. This is like an athleisure-ish style of brand. They have a lot of sweat wicking like dresses and um, just kind of uh, closet staples that are easy to wear on like a day out that'll keep you cool and comfy. So this is like a knee length tie front dress, or it's like a wrap dress. Is it a wrap dress? No, it's not a wrap dress. It's just a tie front dress. And they do a lot of like organic cotton. Yeah, 48% organic cotton. So, and you always want to use keywords with that kind of stuff, athleisure, athletic, loungewear, comfy, casual. Um, so, yes. Next, tried and true Banty. This is just a journey graphic t-shirt. It's very thin and slouchy, like semi-sheer. Another bundle piece, I kind of debated this at the bins, Calvin Klein, just because I never really pick up this brand or style really, size four, but I couldn't leave it behind. It was in an older bin, so no one was getting it. And I really just hate to see it go off to a landfill or wherever it's gonna end up because it's a really nice piece. I mean, it has a self tie at the neck, it's leopard print. And I mean, you could really, you could wear this to brunch, wear it to the office. It's a nice piece. It seems also really flattering actually. So we'll see how this does. I think that would be a good piece to send into ThreadUp if I sold over there, which I don't, but I kind of want to dabble in that kind of thing this coming year. So stay tuned for that. Next up, we have a pair of men's Lululemon plaid shorts. Uh, these were in the corner of a bin and once again, I just kind of felt there was a certain something to the fabric. So I did some investigating and found the uh, logo. They have a contrasting pink zipper, which is kind of interesting. I haven't seen that on men's shorts before from Lulu, but you know, it's kind of cool. I think they're almost like a golf short more cashmere, Neiman Marcus, 100% cashmere, size small, really cool. This is like a layered look, two-tone cardigan. You have the tan lapel just kind of sewn in. It looks like, you know, a layered look basically. Um, and really no pilling, no holes. So had to get this, it's long line, super soft. I've never found this collab before. I have heard that it does pretty well. I know it was super expensive retail. I think around, I wanna say this dress was probably about $200. Alexa Chung for Adriano Goldschmied. It's an off shoulder chambray ruffle mini dress. It does not have pockets, I thought it did. But really cute nonetheless. It's 100% cotton. This is a vintage maxi dress. I have sold this brand several times before, all that jazz. And let's see, what, how does this work? I think it's a crossed back, maybe, or yeah, maybe like a halter. I'm not sure, I need to put it on my mannequin, but it's a sunflower print, maxi length. This should do, this should probably sell, I would say 28 to 32-ish, possibly 35. It has a little bit of fading, so probably closer to that $30 mark. 
but anything vintage with a bold print and like longer length, maxi length sells great for me. Okay, Karen Kane, which again, never picked this brand up to sell, but it was at the bins and it had several things going for it. I liked this lavender color. It's a size 2X, it's 100% silk, and it has this really pretty intricate beaded trim around the collar. Is that focusing? There we go. So I thought it was really well made and high quality, especially with it being 100% silk. So I did go ahead and grab that. I'll probably expect maybe, again, 28 to 32 ish, I would say. Possibly 25 though. This is kind of an, ex that was kind of an experimental pickup just to see, you know, Karen Kane, I don't think people are searching for, but just how far the style material size can carry it, um, you know, without the brand kind of uh, propping it up a little bit. BDG Urban Outfitters Extra Small. This is a newer piece from Urban and it's a little like coveralls, short all, jumper, super cute. This kind of stuff can do great. Uh, I'll probably expect about 35-ish from that. Okay, our last couple pieces here. This was another bins grab that again, you know, I, I wouldn't run for, especially at the regular Goodwill. It's Paper Moon, which is sometimes sold through Stitch Fix, or it might be exclusive to Stitch Fix, I'm not sure. But it was new with tags, and again, with spring coming up and events like the rodeo, I decided to get it. This would be adorable if you wore it to the rodeo with some cowboy boots and like a denim jacket. It's a floral crochet overlay dress. And our very last piece, yet another kind of bundle item. This is newer tag, cabby, size two, olive green, skinny jeans with some kind of cargo pockets in back. And that is absolutely everything for this huge haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I haven't been posting as much as usual. I got kind of behind. I took some time off. My closet was on vacation mode for a little bit. So I'm just now kind of getting back into the swing of things. But I should have several videos coming out in the near future. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any content. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.